you ever been in a situation like the one I'm in right here in a game of eight ball where you really need to break out that ball to be able to win, right? And have you ever just absolutely whiffed it? Maybe not that bad, but pretty bad. Well, I have a drill here that I'm gonna show you that will really help with breaking out balls. It will help learning how to use English. Um, it will help knowing where the cue ball goes whenever you do use English when it comes off the rail. It'll help you learn to pocket balls with inside, outside, and all types of different English, um, even bottom and top. Uh, this drill is uh, a drill that I practiced you know, pretty religiously when I was learning how to play pool and even now, and it really helps. It shoots my game up every single time I do it. And I really love this drill, okay? I learned this drill from Tor Lowry, one of his videos back in the day. And I'm here just to, to share it again and share a somewhat different version of it um, that I like to do now a lot more, right? So the way you set it up is you take, oh, they fell on the ground, but these reinforcement holes, you can get them from Walmart or Target. Um, all they are is little stickers, and um, they're like $2. You know, you can get a bunch of them, right? So the way you set it up is you take three balls, just like that, from the head spot, and you take the last one off and you put a sticker down, right? And for this ball, it goes from this diamond to that diamond right in the middle, right? So you put it right there, okay? Boop. All right, so what you do is you go around the clock. You use top, top right, right, bottom right, bottom, bottom left, left, top left, English. Spin. Um, so I'm going to start with top. Okay, so I'm going to mark the path of that ball. So cross by right there. Okay. And you kind of just want to hit it hard enough to get to this rail and come off a little bit. So not too hard usually. Right, so I, I ran into it, right? So now I'm gonna mark this area, and this is gonna be my target area, where I'm gonna be trying to hit this, hit these balls five times in a row with top English, right? And hopefully I'm not jacked up. This is one of the only ones where I'm kind of screwed up because of that. All right, so I missed it, so I'm trying again. Right, so I ran into them, okay? So you do that five times in a row. Then you go to the top right, right? And once you start getting into the Englishes, it gets a lot harder. So I mark that path. So I went right by it. So I'm going to mark that path, all right? This is probably going to fall on the floor. We're going to see. Oops, so I ran into the eight ball. So that's my target area, okay? So you do that five times in a row. This drill, this drill is really awesome. And you can, you can use, you know, trying to run into two balls for a lot of different positional play um, drills. But I, I really like this one because it, you know, if you don't know how to use English or make balls with English too much, this will really kind of like wrap your head around what everything does, especially if you do it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna do bottom right, which is a little bit harder. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that path kind of out here, just to make it a little bit harder for me. <clears throat> and something else that I do when I'm doing this drill is I really work on my fundamentals. You know, I really work on my pre-shot routine. I have a pretty strict one, right? So I, I don't always chalk, which is usually my cue to you know start my pre-shot routine. But you definitely need to chalk every single time. Um, but I really just work on my timing and my fundamentals and my pause. And I try to let it, I try to let distance, um, you know, really do the work when it comes to action on the cue ball, spin on the cue ball. I try to let the distance of my stroke do what I needed to do without kind of like punching it, especially with this kind of drill. Right, so I hit the one there. So now I'm gonna put them right here and that's gonna be my target area. So 
So I do that five times in a row. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do one with just um, left English, kind of to show because it's a little bit harder for a lot of people. All right, so I'm gonna mark that path. I didn't hit it, right? So I'm gonna mark that path. I'm gonna put this back where it was. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that until I get it, and then I'm gonna do them five times in a row. If you're a real go-getter, you'll do it like 10 to 15 times in a row like I did, just to really kind of try to get a grip on what happens whenever you use English, right? So this is a drill that I do a lot. Um, another one that's pretty much another variation of that drill is I put two balls on the rail somewhere on this rail, because this shot comes up all the time, right? Where you well, you have this shot right here, or this shot, whatever, where the cue ball's in the middle of the table, you have an angle, and you either need to break out a ball here, or you just need to hit a spot on this rail kind of specific to get out. Um, so I'll, I'll put two balls on the rail right here, and I'll try to run into them five times in a row. And I'll change up the spot on the rail and try to do that with different variations of bottom left, right, or bottom right, depending on what side I'm on. Right? And this drill helps a lot to learn exactly where the cue ball is going and you know just how precise you, you really have to be to play this game at a top level. And usually I'd sticker it up, but I'm just kind of showing a little variation of it. Right, so see it's pretty hard. Like I didn't I didn't hit him on either one of those. Like I hit it off the bounce, but I didn't run right into him on either one of those. It's a pretty hard drill. So if I get that five times in a row, a lot of times I'm pretty happy just because that's difficult. But the whole time I'm working on my stroke, my pre-shot routine, and I'm also working on, you know, my English and all that kind of stuff. Just trying to look as smooth as absolutely possible, right? So my name is Sam. I'm here with Conscious Billiards, and uh, I hope I showed you a good, uh, a good drill that you could do either at home, at a bar, or whatever. If you don't have stickers, by the way. You know, uh, maybe not now because of the whole coronavirus thing, but something I used to do is just lick my pinky and then just kind of like press it down and there's like a little, she has a little wet spot on the table, but that really helps. Or you can use chalk and do it, but I think that just kind of dirties up the table. But um, but yeah, but I would advise getting stickers if you're serious about getting better at pool, just because it helps a lot. And if not, you kind of know where to set it up, you can do it. It's just going to be a little more inconsistent. Um, and maybe not on your part. This helps make it consistent on your part. So, but yeah, I hope this drill really helps y'all. And um, yeah, thank you.